US sanctions reimposed, a national currency in free fall, protesters taking to the streets across the country. Can Iran negotiate its way through this troubled climate? Or is it heading towards a series of political and economic crises? When the US decided to lift sanctions as part of the 2015 nuclear deal, Iran looked to get its economy going. But now President Donald Trump has reimposed those sanctions. Yeah, I think it's a great thing that the U.S. is out of the Iran deal because it was a ridiculous deal for the U.S. and it's a ridiculous deal for the world. The country was already struggling. Since April, Iran's currency, the rial, has lost half of its value. Now the first phase of renewed sanctions have taken effect and targeted a range of sectors from planes to carpets and cars. Trading of Iranian gold and purchase of US dollars by the Iranian government are also prohibited. The second phase in November will target the oil industry, the country's lifeblood. Many native industries, including agriculture and rug weaving, it's fed will suffer. And up to one million people, it's been said, could lose their jobs. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani refuses to negotiate with America while there are sanctions and has been summoned to Parliament to address concerns over the economic crisis. President Trump warned of severe consequences for those who continue to trade with Iran, causing European firms to pull out from the country. But China, the biggest buyer of Iranian oil, looks unlikely to heed the US demands. China has imported 718,000 barrels of oil a day, more than a quarter of Iran's oil exports in the first five months of this year. Chinese President Xi Jinping also agreed on a wide-ranging 25-year plan to broaden relations with Iran. This included increasing bilateral trade tenfold to 600 billion US dollars in the next decade. But there's a chance China might limit its oil imports from Iran if the US agrees to restart the stalled trade negotiations. With no signs of America lifting sanctions in the near future, can Iran turn the obstacle into an opportunity by becoming more self-reliant? Or will the hit on oil exports tip the country into a full-blown crisis, which could be felt around the world?